Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer. Back with another video today. Today's video is another quick tip. I'm going to show you how to get Google Assistant remapped to your Bixby button without downloading an APK or some third party app. And it's quite easy to do. So right now I have it set up. If I one press the Bixby button, Google Assistant does come up. Bam, look at that. It works out every time. Now, I did look on YouTube and there's a lot of different videos where you have to download an APK. You have to do all these other steps. And I was like, there has to be an easier way to do this. And it actually is by using Bixby and also the Google Assistant app. So the first thing you want to do to get this to work is go into the Google Play Store. Type out Google Assistant like I just did there. Google Now this is a separate app than the Google Assistant that's installed on the phone. Download it, leave it there, and I'm gonna show you how what you need to do with it. Once you download it, it does show up in your applications as Assistant. Bam, there it is. So what you wanna do now is go into your settings. You wanna go to Advanced Features. You wanna go to Bigsby Key. So what you want to do here is leave it at double press to open Bixby and single press to open an app. So normally you go here and open an app and you can set it to every anything that you want to. But there's no Google Assistant on here either, even with the new app. So for example, if I want to do Amazon shopping and I go back, now if I pressed it, Amazon comes up, which is pretty cool. I mean, you could map it to anything, but if you go back into there, you can set up what they call quick commands. And I'm gonna show you how to do that really quick too. If you hit the plus sign up here, it says what you say to Bigsby. This can be anything that you want it to be. For this one, I must just say test. Now, this is where you need to have it done correctly. It gives you th three different commands. Select the command, say a command. I'm going to type one. And all you need to put is open. And then you put assistant. You save it. And so when you go here, you have test. Okay. So if you go back, what you can do now is. Go back into the sentence, hit test, go back. And now if you press it, bam, there you go. So do it again. Google Assistant opens. That was just a quick way of getting around Samsung's way of trying to block Google Assistant with the Bixby button without downloading a APK or anything like that. If you learned something new in this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so for more coverage on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Please don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Forza Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day now.